Hi everyone, my name is Mildred Stevens. I'm the director of social media and one of the account executive at Study in the USA. Today we are featuring one of the students at Glendale Community College. His name is Tara and he is from Uganda and he'll be joining us today uh, sharing his story and why he decided to choose to study in the USA. Let me see if he is available now to join us. Hello everyone. All right, so let's see. Give us a few moments here. It looks like he is available now to join us, and he'll be. Hello, Tara. Hi, Mildred. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for being here. We're very excited to have you and learn more about you today. Um, so yeah, I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for being here and want to learn more about you. Tell us your story. Why did you uh, choose to study in the USA? All right. So I was looking into different kinds of studies. My area is entertainment, business, and music-related studies. So I did some studies back home. I'm Ugandan, so I did some studies back home. And then I moved to Denmark for more studies. While in Denmark, I did some research on programs I wanted to study and it looked like it's only the US that had the kind of programs I was, I was looking for um, taught in English. I could get something similar but had to had to do to do the studies in Danish and I wasn't ready for that so I decided to move to the US. Uh, my research also proved that there was more, there was more flexibility for me to study in the U.S. than elsewhere, so I decided to move up here and um, do the studies here. And also, you've traveled and lived with ten different countries. How brilliant is that? <laughs> yeah, that's I love traveling. That's 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 really something I've been you know I've been excited about for so many years. So. Um, I mean, you've done so well. I, I've only, I, I think I, I can count six countries that I traveled. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> yeah, I've tried. Well, I've met people who have been to more countries, but yeah, I kind of like started when I was doing my uh, first degree, my bachelor's. I, I went to Kenya and Tanzania, Tanzania to do uh, uh, some kind of an internship. So I, stay, I stayed there for about uh, four months, and it was really, really nice. And that was way back in 2004, maybe 2005. And then um, when I finished the degree, I started looking into going to other countries in Europe, and I had a chance to do that after my bachelor's, my first degree, yeah. I also wanted to, um, you know, to learn more about what inspire you to Glendale Community College? All right, so yeah, Glendale, um, Glendale compared to other colleges I've been to, I feel like um, the location is great for me. It's mm -hmm. not downtown LA where there's so much going on. It's not in West Hollywood where all the streets are always blocked and like all, there's all these events going on. So you can do a lot of things. You, you know you'll be in class on time. You know you, I mean, it's just, it's in Glendale, which is still in the in the city, but not. You know what I mean. So it's it's the perfect location, but also most importantly, I think the fees are a little lower compared to other colleges, which provide the same type of service. So I I thought Glendale was a perfect place for me to go. Plus, it also has like a lot of like international students, so it's easy to mingle or to feel to feel at home. So that was uh, one of the reasons, uh, some of the reasons I chose Glendale Community College. And you're studying music. Yes, I am. Very exciting. What are your favorite genres? Um, song that you, would you like to sing for us today? <laughs> no. Uh, no, but would, you'd like to. I would, <laughs> I would, well, I would rather not sing. I'm not sure it's going to be a good idea. I mean, uh, <laughs> songwriter obviously yes i am yes i'm a songwriter <laughs> yeah so i like 
soul or newer soul, some African related kind of styles of music. I've, I started with uh, jazz when I started to do uh, commercial like, songwriting. So I was, I was doing like a type of a fusion of you know, jazz or Western jazz and African music. And I loved it. So, uh, but then I realized that I didn't have um, any music theory. So mm -hmm. when I looked at, like, for, for instance, elsewhere, the schools I've been to, like in Europe, they required me to either speak Danish or Swedish or Germany. And uh, I didn't want to learn, because music is another language. I didn't want to learn a new language in a different language. You know what I mean? So I... I thought, you know, when I moved to the U.S., Blender was perfect for me because then um, I could do study music there. And um, I realized they had, I could learn music theory, which is great for me as a songwriter because a lot of times I, I, met, I met musicians who could only read. They were mm -hmm. very good. They loved my music. Or we loved somehow the same kind of music, but they could not play by ear. <laughs> yeah. So you had to have all the music prepared. You had to have music sheets or like scores for them to be part of this, you know, this whole. Yeah. Part. Yeah. So I I signed up for for music at Glendale. Yeah, good foundation is great. You know, having yes college taught you the the things that you don't know yet and will uh, improve your you know your. And let me see all the comments. <laughs> yeah. I like said, please make him sing, please. <laughs> oh, they want me to sing? <laughs> Some Kirabo, he said, he should sing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, Ima, Sibyl, Ketia, Mohammed, Kohei. <laughs> Here. Hello, shout out to Glendale Community College, of course. Uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for tuning in. So yeah, so one more. Are you, <laughs> will you sing? <laughs> well, one if, part. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, I guess, you know, went for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to put you in this, yeah, you, you, you. if you change your mind, let me know, but <laughs> one, uh, ask you is what are the challenges um you know as an international student i know that you are also teaching as a teaching assistant and you work in glendale so how do you how do you manage you know of course your goals and everything what are those challenges that you're experiencing that glendale community college is actually helping you yeah i mean i realized uh, so i was doing the uh, teaching assistantship when i was in denmark at Glendale, at Glendale, I work with the um, International Students Office. So I'm not teaching, but I'm working with, you know, all... Are you there? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah, someone tried to call me, so my, my phone, I had to, like, turn it off. That's why. <laughs> so, yeah, so I really have to work with... Uh, uh, the schedule. I have to play with the schedule a lot to mm -hmm. make sure that um, to make sure that I don't miss, you know, classes. To make sure you you really have to plan a lot because yeah. every every minute counts. Because usually when I get out of class, my schedule starts in about forty five minutes from my last class. So most of my classes, uh, I ch when I when I'm choosing classes or when, I, of course, school like classes is the most important thing as an international student you must that's your primary goal that's your primary focus everything else is secondary so once you choose your classes then you have to work with the international office to figure out how you're going to fit in their schedule so but like for instance um, the last semester all my classes ended at about 12 mm -hmm. 12, 12, 12 10 and my Work schedule started at once. I only had 50 minutes to uh, make sure I have lunch somewhere and then prepare and go to, to my job. So it's, I really have to balance. And then after classes, that's when I jump onto my assignments because some of them would be due the next class, which would be maybe a day or two from that day. And 
considering you have to do a lot of things outside school as well, you really, really have to plan your day to make sure you don't miss anything. So it can be challenging because um, it can really be challenging. But, you know, as an international student, you only, you have 20 hours a week. So it's mm -hmm. not that you have to be in office every day, but it adds up. So yeah. you really, really have to be on top of your game to mm -hmm. make sure that you, you strike a balance. I love that. Time management, definitely. Yes, yes. If, if there's uh, one or two advice, uh, you know, to students all over the world that are going to watch this and are watching, um, what would you give them who wants to study in the USA or who want to learn more about Glendale Community College? Yes, I would say do not stop dreaming. You know, dreams come true. Um, most of us from, from back home, when we look at the tuition, when we look at, you know, all the paperwork you have to put together, we a lot of us give up, um, especially with the tuition. Uh, and there's no guarantee that you, you're going to get the visas from most students, but you never know until you've tried. So uh, we all, you know, there's a first time for everything. So... Just don't give up. Keep pushing forward. Just press on for that dream. It's, it's going to come true. So there's always ways of making things happen when you come here. That's what I would say, at least for me, from my experience, that's what it's been. And um, I believe if I was able to make it to where I am today, many, many of you can, can make it as well. So just don't give up. Just keep pushing forward. Things are going to happen. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much. And do you miss Uganda? Are you? Are yes, I do. Uh, I have a lot of friends. Actually, some of them I realize are on here right now. And um, hey, hello. <laughs> yes. So I have, a, I have a lot of friends down there. So I miss them and my family as well, of course. So I haven't been home in, in quite a while. So I do miss uh -huh. them. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think it's something that many of us international students go through. So if, so if you don't really, if you choose to stay indoors all the time, to stay by yourself, it's going to be even harder. So I always, you know, recommend go out and network or social network, make friends, go into activities that other people are doing and take part. You don't have to like them so much. I mean, the activities, uh, but it's the time, focus more into the time you're going to spend with them. So, uh because those end up becoming your family up here, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do, they do. Thank you so much again, Tara, for you know being here and sharing your story with us. Do you have anything else to add for us? Well, uh, I don't think I do have. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Like, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, song. <laughs> like oh, they really want me to sing. Okay, uh, okay. I, I guess someone says he should sing. Um, all right, let me see. Just give me two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if they want a guitar or they want a piano. They didn't say anything. So. <laughs> See, this probably will save us. This should save us time, I guess. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a hard one. I didn't expect that to, to happen. Okay, so uh, do they want me to? Okay, oh, they say that that works. Either works. <laughs> piano. Someone said piano. I know. <laughs> Go, Tara. <laughs> All right. Um, what song do you guys want? <laughs> Not, 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 heaven's door. Oh, I love that song. Not, 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 heaven's door. 
Knock, knock, knock on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knock on heaven's door. But I didn't say how much time I have. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knock on heaven's door. Mama put this part of me. Do you know this song or you don't? I do. I love it. <laughs> so why don't you sing and then I just play? Oh, no. Why don't you sing with me? I, I, I'm, I'm Filipino. There's a lot of Filipinos who are <laughs> out to sing, but that's not what it's not me. <laughs> but your voice is fantastic. And oh, really, thank you. We, I think that, you know, we're very excited to see you in the future. And see your work and writing. So, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's such a treat for us to hear you sing and thank you. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> an opportunity to hear your voice. And All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much, Tara. Again, uh, we wish you the best in the future. And we're excited, of course, to hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Mildred. Thank you so much. Thanks, Glendale. You said that little preview was great. <laughs> All right. All right, bye. Thank you. Bye.